So this is my 2017 Ram 2500 Cummins diesel. 4x4, this is the base tradesman model. As you can see, we got just the regular cloth seats. And uh, we are about to give that a huge, huge makeover. Let's go inside the race trailer and check out the awesome custom interior that we got for my Ram truck. Now this is the brand name. This is, it's literally custom interior. Yeah. This is gonna be the upper section of the seat. See how it opens up right there. It's got the holes in the top for the headrest. It's got pockets on the back. That's gonna be pretty cool. Definitely not cheap seat covers. Like I said, the stitching's nice, the material's nice. They smell good. <laughs> And then here's uh, one of the tops to the front captain seats. There's the front driver's seat again. Freaking awesome. Everything's strapped down. That looks awesome compared to the stock seats, that's for sure. One thing I can tell you right now is they are <laughs> very legit looking. Nice looking leather. See if you can check that out. This stuff, I mean, it feels real good. Feels like nice material. So these are the headrests. Looks like we got three. And then we got the baby one for the back seat, middle, uh, middle of the back seat and then we got four so we got four headrests for all of the um main seats and then we got the rear center section uh little baby headrest and then we got and then this looks like that's going to be a bottom to one of the front seats that's going to be the other bottom to one of the front seats. Let me get you guys check that out. Very legit looking. So we got two of those. And then we got... This is going to be the upper section of the seat. See how it opens up right there. It's got the holes in the top for the headrest. It's got pockets on the back. That's going to be pretty cool. And yeah, it's got these nice elastic straps with metal hooks all the way around it to fasten it down. Um, very thick. These things are very, very thick. And they got one stuck inside of another one. So there's two of those. And then this is going to be the back seat. And that's going to be the bottom of the back seat right there. And this should be the top of the back seat right here. Definitely very legit looking guys. So again, this is this is the top to the back seat. As you can see, you can check out the stitching, the material. Very, very nice. I mean this this feels like really good stuff. Really good stuff. Definitely not cheap seat covers. Like I said, the stitching's nice, the material's nice. They smell good. <laughs> and then here's uh one of the tops 
to the front captain seats. Definitely pretty cool. Yeah. So, let's get all this stuff installed. It shouldn't take too long and see what the truck looks like after we get it all installed. All right, guys. So we have the front seat covers installed and uh, they look awesome. Very simple, super, super easy to put on. Um, the back, another story. So stay put. I'll show you what you got to do on the uh, rear seat on the Ram trucks to get these things installed. But here's the front. So there's the driver's side that we got so far. And again, guys, this stuff, I mean, these things are literally made for the Rams. I mean, they fit the seats well. I mean, it, it looks like a whole different seat, like literally. Headrest, everything. I got them already dirty from crawling around in here, but yeah. Uh, we got the passenger side done also. Show you the back. Them things are awesome. Let me scoot this thing back here a little bit so you can see. So that's what the back looks like. They fit nice and tight. As you can see, the passenger side, there's zippers on the side to zip up. But uh, yeah, so here we go with the rear seat. Now what you got to do is the bottom part you can get on. And again, you can see it fits real tight. Looks, looks like you've replaced the entire seat. Um, now to get the back part on, this is the part that if uh, you want it to look right and fit nice and tight and snug, you got to be able to get these straps that's on the bottom and there's some on the top that go over the back and basically they go over, they go around, under and around and they meet up in the middle and they snap together. And that's what keeps this thing pulled tight all the way down. Now. Obviously, you cannot fit your hands back there to uh, buckle up those straps and get them tight. So what I had to do, as you can see, we had to uh, unbolt the seat and pull it forward so that I can get the room to reach back there and buckle the straps and pull everything tight. Uh, not a big deal. Um, let me go over here. Kind of show you what's going down so you got four bolts you got two of these on both sides one here and then one in the back and those are 18 millimeter so all you need is a ratchet 18 millimeter socket uh, you could use a wrench if you want but i will say these things are loctited in there from the factory they're pretty snug and you're going to be cranking on them for a long time so i'd recommend a ratchet um but yeah so unbolt the seat lift up and then pull out because the back has little hooks that slide into the back of the cab um, so you have to pull up on the seat and then pull forward and then it will slide forward like so to where you can get back here and fasten the uh the seat covers little buckles i'm gonna try to grab one so you can kind of see it you see there's there's the top of one right there and then the bottom section would go through the bottom of the seat, come out down here, and then and then buckle up here. And then here's the little hooks I was talking about. There's a couple of those um, going down the whole seat, and they snap into the back of the cab back here. You can see that little hook. So nothing too crazy. But yeah, we're almost done, guys. We're going to get the rear seat completely finished here and then bolt everything back up. Here's the uh, passenger seat. Throw that over here for a minute. Again, definitely looks awesome. I am completely loving these seat covers. I mean, it looks like you, like I said, it looks like you swapped out the seat <laughs> and uh, put in some actual leather seats. I mean, it's these are legit. Really, really nice, guys. Really nice. All right, so hold tight. We're going to get the uh, rear seat completely done, get everything bolted back together. And we'll show you what the entire package looks like and uh won't take long so here we go all right so we got all the straps hooked as you can see that's about how far forward i have to pull a seat and you have uh, the corner hook here that straps together then you got one here 
one there one here and you got four more going down there on the passenger side so that's what i'm trying to talk about if you want this to fit correct and be tight and not move around um this is necessary you're gonna have to unbolt your seat pull it forward so that you can do this because unless you're like slender man or stretch armstrong bro it ain't happening so there you go all right so we're gonna get this thing bolted back up and uh see what we got after it's all put back together all right guys we got everything done back seat is fully installed and it looks freaking awesome here's the back seat everything's strapped down like i said these things fit awesome fit awesome they don't not loose or bulky or any of that crap you know like cheap seat covers usually do they fit nice and that looks awesome compared to the stock seats that's for sure there's the front driver's seat again freaking awesome let's go around here and here's the back passenger side all the headrests fit right it's awesome guys love these things got your pockets yes so uh, yes so uh. and here's the front passenger seat again so there you go that is the custom interior leather seat cover kit for the ram or fourth gen ram trucks i'm super super impressed quality is amazing they look amazing they fit absolutely amazing like it, it's pretty unreal how well they fit for being a seat cover um completely transforms the look and man all i can say is good quality uh so yeah they're worth the money for sure um installation the front super easy you know probably takes you a good 15 20 minutes to put the front together the uh the rear seat that that's definitely a little bit more technical because you got to unbolt it and pull it forward so that you can install the seat covers correctly um you know that would you know I, i'm 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 a mechanic so you know it probably took me a good i don't know 30 30 40 minutes to uh get the seat unbolted and put the covers on the right way but no big deal um anybody can do it so overall, you know, I'd probably say give yourself a good hour, hour and a half to do this. And uh, it's awesome, guys. Definitely a good product. So I hope the video helps you guys out. If you are looking at these seat covers and kind of wanting a good opinion on how well they work, fit, and function, hopefully this gives you what you're looking for. Uh, don't forget, give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of these seat covers and or if you already have some, how have how have they been holding up for you guys and stay safe out there and we'll see you guys on the next one